Hey everybody, it's Zerger Plus and I need to sneeze. Was it as good for you as it was for me? Anyway, hey everybody, this is Zerger Plus and I have a kitty behind me. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. In the last episode, we started this godforsaken place known as the Cave of Magnetism or whatever this place is. I don't remember. You're gonna fall on your head. I know they say cats land on their feet, but you're special. Not the good special, like you're a shining star special. No, you're the, you're the bad special. Anyway. There, those were Ryan Flares. The encounter rate just turned into Final Fantasy 2! Okay, so here we go. Room with copper hourglass, which I won't be using. Spider silk, which is nice. A high potion, which is also nice. Are you cracked out? <laughs> My god, I am not complaining. I mean, I'm, I'm glad to see a happy kitty, but... He's just running around the house. He has no purpose for his running. He's just running. And darting and jumping and being dumb and it's probably because he's still just a little cat. But even the other two didn't do that when they were that age. Okay, so here we get the fairy claws. Particular um, claw for Yang that I really like. Uh, because what they do is they are quad effective against giant type enemies. So Bye bye idiots. And by idiots, I mean ogres. And by ogres, I mean non-threatening little fairies. I never really understood why they call it the fairy claw if it's, you know, effective against giants. There are people trying to sled off of snowbanks. Idiots. We have a hill literally not very far away from this house. There's no point in just sledding right in your driveway. If you can walk a hundred feet behind the complexes, then there's the awesome cleared out hill made just for sledding. I don't understand the kids of my generation. I'm not an Audis kid. I'm technically a 90s kid, but... Just because I was born in 95. And just because you are born in the 90s, that does not make you a 90s kid. It's like, do you have any memories of what was so good in the 90s? I do. But, um, a lot of people don't. It's like, I was a 90s kid, oh yeah, what was so great about it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shut up. You shut up. You don't know what the 90s were like. I miss the 90s. Back when life was probably just because life was so simple for me. I was born in 95, so I was five years old when 2000 happened. All I was... Really, guys? Not today. <laughs> Not tomorrow. All I was familiar with was that, you know, Cartoon Cartoon Fridays happened every Friday, and after 10 o'clock was Toonami. So, you know, that's back when I watched Dragon Ball Z for the first time. I watched Trigun. Okay, Draculady and Face Bats. They're actually vamp girls and just cave bats, so I don't understand what the fan translation's all up with in this. I don't care. I'm not going to edit out battles anymore, because I am I seem to be running away from them fast enough, and I'm carrying a fairly intelligent conversation right now, so I should hope. I, for some weird reason, I keep wanting to think there's something in these skulls, but I'm apparently wrong. <laughs> okay, so we made it to the crystal room. And you must be this dark elf I keep hearing about. Well done making it here! But you cannot take back the crystal of Earth! Do you think you can stand up to my magic with equipment like that? Sir Cecil? Leave this to us! Well, we're gonna have to try, so we fight on! Nice hit, Cecil. Nice hit, Yang! Nice, Miss Sid. I will kill you now. Let's just fire two. And thunder two. And blizzard two. Aren't you going to calculate damage yet? And the tornadoes. Wonder bars. If I could use my what? My sword. 
Some metanite! Sorry, I'm making light of a very serious situation. But obviously, since it's a scripted cutscene, something bound to happen. Oh, look! Edward! Being useless in bed, I see. Cecil and the others are in danger! I'm gonna get out of bed and fall on the floor. I knew I shouldn't have drank so much last night. My harp. I need my harp. I just think better with my harp. Why they couldn't just bring it to him, I don't know. It's like, stay in bed and have them bring it to you. Don't, like, stumble over to it. Now, keep in mind that you have to talk to Edward before coming to this cave, because if you don't have the Echoer, or the Whisperweed, or the Twin Harp, or whatever it's called in your version, you cannot succeed. The Dark Elf will just kill you, you'll be dead, there's nothing you can do about it. This warm sound, it's Edward's harp. What the? What is that horrible music sound? So do they actually explain what happens here? Because if not, I will. I would assume they do. Yeah, while the music is playing, he shouldn't be able to control the gravity. Equip your sword. My teeth make a dingy noise every time I smile. Ding! So, let's put all of our awesome equipment back on. I'm gonna throw a helmet. Full volume! 20 points to anybody who understands what movie that's from. Cecil, we're gonna wanna put... Don't put his slumber sword on. He's a... Dark Elf is actually weak to holy, so you're gonna wanna equip your legend sword. It's not being retired just yet. So, that's... that's nice. Knight armor and gauntlets. And then these two, I think all I took off was a ring. And that was it. I think that's all I did. There you go. And uh, don't forget to uh, change your rows back out. I have done this in the past, so just don't do it yourself. You. I'm going to kill you! I like how it keeps Edward's music playing while we do this and... Oh no! Not this triple combo Delta th thing attack again! Be prepared for the hurt! Or not. You suck. Horribly. Um, you know what? I'm actually gonna hold off on magic casting. If I just waited a second more... Yeah, look at that damage. Wow. Yeah, tell I'm gonna wanna. Ha ha! What the whisper does is it hexes you and turns you into a pig, but when you're a pig, you can't cast magic, but you keep all your physical strength. So, it's not really gonna affect Yang in a negative way. If that makes any sense. Although I do think it drops all your elemental defenses, if you had any. But this damage, I think, is scripted not to deal very much damage anyway. Okay, so here... We have the Dark Dragon. Now, there's a bit of a strategy that you can do in fighting this thing. For whatever reason, I think it's Tornado. The black magic spell Tornado can affect this boss. I don't know why, it might have just been left out when the coding was done, but I seem to have a hard time getting it to proc. Now this guy doesn't have a lot of health to begin with, but I suppose I can try. Now if you attack him, he just counters with Dragon Breath and it hurts, but if Tornado works... Now, see, I just have a hard time getting it to proc, but this isn't a very hard fight, so you don't really need it. Save Tello more for healing purposes than anything else. Basically, the secret to winning this fight is not... Leveling up, we're in trouble. One of us is dead. Yeah. Yang's dead. That's not good. I do want to heal up, though. Before I attack again, because I think Dragon Breath is actually a counterattack, so... So, yeah, basically, as long as you keep your Legend Sword on... Ow! You should be okay. I can't use a Rise. Dang it. 
want you to use a Where Are My High Potions? There they are. Use one of those on Cecil. I don't really care if everybody dies. I feel kind of bad saying that. But, um... At this point in time, I really don't, because he's almost dead. Yeah, see, he's, he's dead. It's not that big a deal. So we got 5,000 gold, some experience. Cecil gained a level. Sid gained a level. Tell it didn't. That's okay. Why does that sound... Why does it happen here? And as long as I have the crystal, I should be able to attain immortality. You... Did it, Edward? You're not entirely useless, so we're gonna take this back. I do kind of like, though, how the Dark Elf's Cave has a crystal shrine, so it's almost like it kind of belongs here. Just like nature kind of naturally provided. So it's like, oh, you don't have to... You don't have to worry about the crystal, because no man foolish enough would go in there to get it. I can't even cast Asuna, that's how bad this is. Now, you can't uh, use warp while you're in a crystal room, but a dungeon, maybe you can. So I'm going to want to use one of my exit doors. Let me just quick warp my way out of here. And go back home. Now, basically, a black chuckabo, as you can see, I'm not doing anything. What a black chuckabo does is when you fly it to one particular place, when you ride it again, it will take you back to the village, the chuckabo village that it came from. So that's a thing. Where's the white one? There he is. Hey, hold on. I want to talk to you. Get all my magic back so that I can start doing effective stuff like healing Yang. Healing everybody else. Full magic, just because I can afford to. Or full health, rather. And I guess I can use Cecil for the rest. My god, my nose is so itchy. Is that it? That's everybody's at max, alright. Chuckabo! White, white Chuckabo! Alright, so now all my MP's been restored, now I can just grab a normal Chuckabo and not have to work. Come here! Chuckabo! <laughs> Stop running away! I know you're supposed to try and cut him off, but I don't know if he's gonna go, because he has two potential ways that he can go! Gotcha! That only took ten hours too long. Alright, well, that does it for me in this episode, guys, so thank you all so much for watching. Uh, click that like button and that subscribe button so that you can see the episodes of this that I keep on putting out, and hit the annotations in the video in the previous episode so that you can go watch that next episode if you're watching this in the future. So, this has been Zero Gear Plus, playing Let's Play Final Fantasy IV, and it's being fun to me so far. So, in the next episode, we're going to return the Crystal of Earth to Troya, and be able to negotiate with Golbez on getting Rosa back, because, you know, we're cool like that. So, uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode, so, bye! What happened?